How to knit the seed wishbone stitch. English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles, a cable needle or a double pointed needle, and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Knit Out of the Box for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their machine washable merino lamb's wool in the color garnet. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl. To begin this stitch you must cast on a panel of 12 stitches. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work we will purl 2. Then we're going to take a cable needle or a double pointed needle. I'm going to use a double pointed needle in this case and we're going to slip the next three stitches onto our cable needle and we will hold those in back of our work. I find it's a little bit easier to work from double pointed needles myself. Alright then we're going to knit one from our main needle and then we will knit the following sequence from our double pointed needle. So we're going to purl one, then knit one, then purl one again. Okay, so we can set this off to the side for a second. All right, then we are going to slip the next stitch to a double pointed needle and we will hold this in front. So we'll just slip this one, hold that in front of our work. Then we will knit one, purl one, this is all from our main needle, and then knit one. Then we will knit the stitch from our double pointed needle or cable needle. Okay, and then we can set that off to the side. And we will finish up by doing a purl two. Row two. We're going to begin by knitting two. Then we will purl one, and then knit one. And we'll do this again, purl one, knit one, and one more time, purl one, and knit one. Then we will purl two, and we'll finish up by knitting two. Row three, we're going to begin by purling two. So we've got one and two. Then we are going to knit one and then purl one. And we'll do this two more times. So knit one, purl one, and again knit one and purl one. Okay, then we're going to knit two, one, two, and then we will finish up by purling two. Row four, we're gonna repeat row two, so we'll begin by knitting two, then we're going to purl one, and then knit one, purl one, and knit one, purl one, and knit one. Okay, then we will purl two, and we'll finish up with a knit two. Row five, we're gonna begin by purling two. Then we're going to knit one, purl one, and we'll repeat this two more times. So we'll knit one and purl one. Then once more, knit one and purl one. Then we're gonna knit two and we'll finish up by purling two. Row six, we'll repeat row two again. So we're gonna knit two, then we will purl one and then knit one, 
curl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, then we're going to purl two, one, and two, and then we will finish up by knitting two. Row seven, we're going to begin by purling two. So we've got one, two, then we're going to knit one, purl one, then we're going to knit three. So we've got one, two, and three. Then we'll do a purl one, then knit two, and we'll finish up with a purl two. Row eight, we'll begin by knitting two. Then we're going to purl one. Then we'll knit one. Then we're going to purl three. Then we'll knit one. And then purl two. And we're gonna finish up with a knit two. So we're going to repeat rows 1 through 8 until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the seed wishbone stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more knits today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com VIP.